Welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it has turned out. All in the hopes of inspiring you to find some sass of your own or make you laugh. If I make you laugh, please subscribe. If I make you smile, please share. So in today's video, I'm going to be making a weighted blanket. I think this is a really cute story. So my husband and my daughter went to my sister's house one day when I was working. My sister made a weighted blanket very inexpensively. She picked up two throws on sale and a bag of rice. I'm pretty sure it cost her less than $30. My husband tried it, fell in love, then requested for me to make him one for Christmas. And then he got very specific. His background is Scottish, so he wanted his specific plaid on one side and then it to be warm and fuzzy and cozy on one side. After everything is said and done, picking up all the materials needed, I needed some new sewing machine needles, thread, the two pieces of material, and a massive bag of rice. After everything was all said and done, it is over $100, <laughs> so it would have been definitely cheaper just to buy one. However, it is going to be very personalized and very specific, and then I hope he loves it even more. I've previously washed the material. I've just zigzagged all the edges. I've sewn it together into like a massive pillowcase. So here's his tartan side, and here's his warm, furry, fuzzy side. This is already pretty heavy, so once I fill it with the rice, I think he's gonna really like it. Sew it together, and then put your right sides on the outside, and then you're gonna work out your math. Everything I've seen on Pinterest, most people sew the squares that hold the little pouches of the rice six by six. This big rectangle is the outside of my blanket. These are my measurements. I've made it pretty easy. I've just taken 56 and I've done the basic math on it. These are my sewing lines that I have to do. Going to end up with eight different sections, seven inches apart. So where I'm at is I am going to be making all these seams going up. So each little pocket you have to fill with rice. Stitch it, fill with rice, Stitch it, fill with red, and then make your way up. A little bit of math with like the division of your squares or rectangles, and then a little bit of math with how much rice you're gonna be dumping into each little square. So I have all my columns done. It takes a little while to make this type of a blanket. On the plaid side, you can't see the stitching at all. I just followed the lines of the plaid. I think it's gonna do the same this way. On the fuzzy fur side, you can slightly see all the different columns. So I've done my math. They're gonna end up being seven by seven inch squares. Now I'm doing the math on dividing my eight kilogram bag of rice. I have completely changed my squares. <laughs> I didn't like how big the seven by seven was ending up being with the rice being all loosey goosey in there. You're only supposed to put about a half a cup into each one of those squares. So I did go back through and I made all of these smaller. So they are now three and a half by three and a half. My columns are now done. Now going to be pouring rice down each one of my columns and then sewing. My goal is to use the whole eight kilogram bag. It converts to 17 pounds. And this is a little bit heavy. I think it'll end up being about a 20 to 25 pound weighted blanket. Yeah. Let's get pouring some rice. So I got two rows done. These are my three and a half by three and a half squares. So I was working with the rice in grams. Being a hairstylist, I know grams. So I got my weighing machine that I use every day for work. And my cup and a ladle just scoop it up in the rice and weigh out 22 grams divided out equally in my 352 squares that i'll be making <laughs> so yeah it's uh it's heavy it's warm it's beautiful i'll walk you through the rice and like how you sew it and making sure that all the rice stays put while you sew because I have gotten a couple of grains of rice in the way of the sewing machine and it just, it's not smooth, that's for sure. So here's my second seam for my row. So then you have to measure your next row, three and a half inches up. 
mine is working out great that I have a line to follow so I'm actually being able to sew straight lines. Some of the websites I've seen were very wavy and the material itself gets very bunchy. This plaid is making it super easy. So I'm not drawing lines because I do already have lines but I'm putting pins so uh, so I know where I'm going. I am putting the pin on my seam of my column so I'm not actually blocking the column from allowing the rice to go down. Okay, eight kilogram bag of rice. So 22 grams of rice, break out your blanket. You wanna even column all the way down so you can just literally pour it down. In my research, I read that a lot of people kept dumping rice everywhere. I'm just using a measuring cup with a spout and it seems to be working out okay. Dump it in and then make sure it goes all the way down. At my plaid side of my material, I can feel where the grains of rice are. So if there's any that have been caught along the way, I just give it a good shake and then it's now filled. And repeat. Well, Murphy's Law, I just said I hadn't spilt any rice. I made a huge mistake of losing the proper end of the blanket and I messed up all my poured columns of rice. Wah, wah, wah. The first couple rows I've done of sewing the rice in place, I actually had on this side, but it's getting too heavy. So I have switched and I am letting it weigh itself down and that's actually helping control the rice being in the right spot. You sew a little bit, make sure there's no grains in the way. Sew a little bit more. I did unfortunately get the odd grain of rice in the way and it did mess up the tension on my sewing machine. So you just have to be mindful. Usually when you sew, you're more just guiding and pushing lightly. It's so heavy I am pulling and pushing with good strength. I'm going at the speed of the tension so that I'm not pulling it. That's me moving the grains of rice out of my pathway. They do move fairly easily. Give it a little shake so gravity works on your side. I'm literally on this side of the sewing machine, shaking it so that the rice goes back down. And if that doesn't work, then I get my fingertips in there. Feed it through. It is so heavy. I'm finding my sewing machine is moving all over the table. I, this one's a right mess. There's like grains of rice everywhere, but third row. Mark your row off, fill your columns, sew. Mark your row off, fill your columns, sew. Keep going. I have to show you this because I think it is very comical. It has gotten too heavy to work on the table that I was working on. So I'm just literally working in the same spots on the floor the camera's out of the way normally and then that's where I slide it to fill the columns and then I slide it back over to do the sewing machine. So it looks like a really weird yoga pose, but it's working. My pedal for my machine is over here and just go. I was finding the blanket was getting too heavy and everything was weighing itself down. So I was pulling on the thread, which was stopping the machine from working and then it was getting all bunched up. There was a whole bunch of threading that I had to take out and then redo. It was just too heavy. It was too much to maneuver. Okay, so it was very labor intensive, but I actually really liked it. I can honestly say I would not have thought to make a weighted blanket if my husband didn't request one for Christmas. This is how it turned out. I love it. There are a couple mess ups. It actually did break my sewing machine. So I had to borrow my sister's and I made a rookie mistake and I didn't look to see what stitch it was on. So it has like a random zigzag stitch all the way through it. And two sides are perfectly square and nice, but two of them are not square and just really bunchy looking and not great. I don't really think he'll care. I'm very happy with how it turned out. So on the end, I had one material was longer than the other. So I just did a hand stitch and there's a little bit of a plaid over on the other side. But, and that's the end that has the gathered non-square side. So that can just be like the feet side if he, if he chooses to do that. I don't have a scale in the house. 
So I have no idea how much it weighs. It is fairly heavy. When I was doing that last row of hand stitching, I had it over top of me and, and the rice really did help hold the body heat in and it did actually warm up. There are a lot of different items you can actually put in the blanket to make it weighted. There's specific beads, there's beads, there are beans. So yeah, down below you'll find a Pinterest link that'll have a couple different options for you to put in your weighted blanket if you choose to make one. I think it took three days all together and probably like eight to ten hour days. Watch the weighted blanket. Some sites said if it's 20 pounds and up, bring it to a laundry mat because their machines are industrial and can take the weight. And if it's less than 20 pounds, your personal washing machine at home can take care of it. Or just hand wash it. It didn't say anything about uh, hot water or cold water. Mine's rice, so I suggest probably cold water. Some sites said just put it in a duvet cover and just wash the cover. Another tidbit of information I found is if you're making the weighted blanket for a child, it needs to be 10% of their body weight. Some websites said 10% plus a kilogram of rice, but most of them were just 10% of the child's body weight. What do you want, sir? Leah, blanket's out. Oh yeah, I didn't know who you're talking to. Myself. Oh, is it stitching? Yeah. Oh, my pin's in the wrong direction. I wanna hit the bottom as for Christmas. I want a weighted blanket for Christmas. Only a weighted blanket will do. No comforter, silk sheet or pillow. Only a weighted blanket will do. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe, watch on repeat, like and share. Sass it up. Stop, 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 stop.